Hello and welcome to another QuickBooks training moment with Steiner Business Solutions. I am Doug and today we're going to be going over the transfer funds feature in QuickBooks. Now keep in mind when we're talking about transferring funds here we're only talking about funds between uh, cash accounts that are being tracked in QuickBooks. Uh, we're not talking about funds being transferred into cash accounts that are outside of QuickBooks personal accounts or any other accounts. So in this example for the sample company they have a checking account a cash expenditures account, a savings account, and a barter account that are all bank accounts. So transfers between any of those would, be, would qualify in this instance. Now there are multiple ways to do transfers. You could go through the check writing feature in QuickBooks and do a, a transfer that way. You could also go through the deposit feature and make a transfer that way. But there's a specific feature in QuickBooks just for transferring funds. And here it is, transfer funds right under the banking menu. So if we open that up, this is the screen we get. You're going to pick the date of the transfer, when it is going to happen or when it did already happen. Um, you can assign a class to it if you want. And then you're going to choose the account that it, the money is going to be coming from. In this case, we'll, we'll transfer funds from the checking account. And then two, down here, we choose our savings account. So we're going to be transferring money from the checking to the savings. And let's just say we're going to transfer $1,000. You can put a special memo here if you need to to explain what the fund transfer is for. And that's really about it. I will point out that there's this box over here that says online funds transfer. And what that is for is if you have your cash accounts connected to your, your online banking, you can literally have this screen here uh, initiate the transfer literally through your bank account. Um, but you have to have it special, uh, set up a special way just to be able to do that. Um, but in that case, you could actually record the transaction and initiate the, the literal transfer at the same time. But we're not doing that here. We're just going to actually record the transaction in QuickBooks. So we hit save and close. Again, it's going to give us the warning, just letting us know that, hey, that's all you're doing is just recording this transaction. You're not literally transferring the funds between your bank accounts. You're just recording it. And that's okay. That's what we're doing. So we'll save it. We'll quickly just go into those accounts to look at our transaction that we recorded and you'll see here on 12-15 a thousand dollars went out we go into our savings account a thousand dollars went in there we go that's how you do a bank transfer in QuickBooks I hope this is helpful thanks